Let's do a problem on Doppler shift. Suppose there's an object which is emitting light towards me, and I know that if I were in the rest frame of that object, so if I weren't moving relative to that object, I would perceive its light to be 500 nanometers. But I am moving, or it's moving, but I don't know how much or how fast. But what I know is that when the light gets to me and I see it, I observe it with a wavelength of 400 nanometers. How fast am I moving? So 500 nanometers is what, if you take me out of the question, that's what the wavelength of the light is. So that's lambda emitted, the wavelength of the light when it's emitted. But I see, when, as the observer sees it, the, I see the light at 400 nanometers. So lambda observed was 400 nanometers. And what do we know? We know that, uh, that lambda observed minus lambda emitted is equal to z times lambda emitted. That's just the Doppler shifting formula. So I can plug in here 500 nanometers, excuse me, 400 nanometers is what I observe it at, minus 500 nanometers is equal to z times 500 nanometers. So 100 nanometers is equal to z, sorry, minus 100 nanometers is z times 500 nanometers. So I can cancel off the nanometers and I get that z is equal to minus one-fifth. Since it's negative, that tells me the direction. I know that negative z's are blue shifted, which means things are moving together. So that answers at least the question that I'm moving towards the object or the object is moving towards me. And I also know that z is equal to v over c, so that tells me that v is equal to z times c, or I'm moving at minus one-fifth times the speed of light. Or if you want to take absolute magnitudes and not worry about the sign, I'm moving at a total speed of one-fifth the speed of light.